all right guys welcome uh, this particular video we are going to dedicate this to solving one of the advanced tasks okay which is this all right which is this okay i believe if you have challenges with this this video is going to guide you on how to do that okay it said create a file that contains the password for the crack me executable okay create a password create a file that contains the password for the crack me executable before we jump right in in case you still have challenges with the quiz questions i'll just go ahead to to show that okay let me quickly do that before uh, we we solve the last task the first question is this all the size of p in the code so that will be 8 bytes all right then for this what is the value of the of this okay this this is array all right so uh, this array this is the first uh, array which is zero this one this two three and four so we are talking about uh, the we have to locate um, array one of type one so this zero this one okay in this one this theory is zero okay which is the first array and the second one which is one is four so that's how we arrived at this okay so for this that will be eight bytes then if you look at this again a question array that will be this which is one all right then question four what's the value of this again array that will be eight if you follow the procedure i explained earlier and here this will be seven all right so that will be seven then for question seven what is stored inside the pointer to a pointer in an integer that will be this an address where an address is stored okay so um, if you still have challenge with this I believe expanding this is going to help you on that so for question 8 was the size of this this is a pointer this asterisk indicate a pointer I believe you understand what pointers are a pointer is a variable which contains a memory address where the computer stores you know the value okay so for this this is four bytes all right so that i believe that will help if you have challenges with the quiz question so let's let's um just jump into doing the last tax okay this video is dedicated to um, do, uh, doing the last task. Meanwhile, um, subscribe to this channel. We are we drop video every now and then on, you know how to make your software engineering journey seamless. Uh, if you are new here, please subscribe and click on the bell notification so that you will um, know when we drop um, a, a video. Okay. So for this, what you are going to do first is, okay. Let me let me split my screen. All right. So first you have to navigate to the required um, repo which is this. So first we have to be sure we are in the root directory by doing cd root. Alright. Press enter. Okay. We are very sure we are in the root directory. So I'll just go ahead and copy this. Ctrl C come here I do CD I paste that in and I press start so uh, I, I have navigated into this um, repo this github repo okay 
so the next thing is to make this directory then uh, navigate into that directory i believe if you have been solving the tax sequentially you should have um, that so how do you create a directory you use mkdir then the name of the directory so i'm just going to go ahead and copy this come paste okay so yeah of course this is expected i have that directory already okay i have created that so i've just needed to do this in case you you have not created that directory all right if you have created it you just need to cd into that directory if you have not then do mkdir then the name of the directory which is this so since i have that let me show you if i ls at least so you see I have um, this um, 0 times 0 7 pointers arrays and strings I have that directory so how do I navigate into that directory I'll do CD change directory I'll paste that in all right so I have moved into that directory okay I believe you can see what I'm doing here if not let me just zoom in okay so I am now I'm very sure I'm in that directory. You can see that. Okay, pointers, arrays, and string. All right. So the next thing I'm going to do is to come here and create this file. Okay, I'll just copy it. How do I do that? I'll use vi. So I do vi. I'll paste Ctrl V. All right. Not that. Please, sorry, let me escape this. I'm talking about the last task. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. Q. All right. So, um, we are resolving the last task, please. The last one, this, which is crack, crack me to executable. All right. So I'll copy this. Want to see? I come here. Paste control AV. If I press tab, all right, it will take me to VI. What is this about? All right, um, please, this is what you need to type in here. All right, just put this in your V in into the file to this file which we you know created earlier. This one, no one crack me password. This is the file. Put write this in, okay? The way it is, just write it in. All right so when you are done you are going to escape do escape then column wq all right column w to save and q is to quit so since i already have this i don't need to save anything i'm just going to use q i believe you understand that but if you are here for the first time just save column w then q to quit all right so have you done that you press enter so you have left uh, vi okay so when you are done with this the next thing you are going to do is to you look at that file which you are you created okay so let's look at the file which we created earlier okay so let me just clear this so that to give us more working uh, space. I'll clear this now. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is to please follow this closely so that you won't miss it. All right, you won't miss it. What I'm going to do now is to do cuts. The greater than sign then give it give a space i'm going to type this in the way it is all right i'll copy it define name i mean define name here i'll come here Control A, v, i'll paste that all right so have we done that you press enter so the next thing you are going to do now 
is to type the same thing you typed in your file all right when we did vi on 101 crack me password the same thing exact same thing you type there you're going to repeat that here so you are going to do a b c one two three all right the same thing we have there just type it here so when you are done with that you press enter okay then you are going to press ctrl d ctrl d all right you ctrl you press d ctrl d all right so you see that okay when you have done that after you have pressed ctrl d then you can go ahead and make this file executable all right you make this file executable how do you do that ch mod u plus x u plus x all right then define name which is which we copied earlier all right chmod that that so uh, change mode u plus x press enter that will make it executable so if i list now you see this is an executable file all right so when you are done with that you can now do your um, git add dot you press enter i've already done this earlier so i don't need to repeat that so when you do git add you press enter then you do your uh, git commit your commit message of course which is the name of the file in this case we are using you press enter then you do your git push you do your git push and press enter so once you have done this once you follow this exact same step you can now come here and check your code so if i come here and check you can see you can see it's all ticked so if you follow the same exact same thing i showed you right now it's going to all tick all green all right so once you have done that you will be correct Alright, so close this. Please subscribe to this channel. We do this on a daily basis. Alright, subscribe to this channel. Thank you. I'm going to see you again in the next video. Thank you.